Hi, I'm Javier Jimenez. I'm Director of Social Solutions Consulting for Lithium. And I focus a lot on analytics and managing the customer experience by using our, our whole product, both bundled as a product along with solutions. The Web Analytics Association's really been focused on uh, clickstream metrics and um, hard business metrics related to um, online uh, media management, and only recently have they, um, you know, started focusing more or had their membership really ask more about social analytics and what is, how do we measure social media and how do we use it, um, and that's that's what has really gotten me excited about um, being, you know, a member and got me uh, interested in running for, uh, getting nominated, luckily for a board position. My uh, two and a half year old still is in <laughs> the habit of sneaking in about uh, six o'clock in the morning, so that's literally what gets me up. But um, I would I would say trying to figure out how to um, this is kind of corny, but change the way business gets done. That's something I've been uh, really doing for the last thirteen years, ever since I started um, my first job working for an online auction company. So my very first job was literally like flipping retail on its head and I've been doing that ever since. Yeah, my background is actually as a web analyst. I've been working for about 12, 13 years measuring uh, digital media, um, clickstream analytics, and probably the last five years or so working on social media analytics. So the chore has always been to use data to solve problems and use data to make recommendations on how to improve things and so that's what my focus is here and it's just um, it's gotten more and more interesting because now there's more and more data. I mean if you're a marketer ultimately you need an ROI and, fr and frankly now if you're going to do any business online you need an ROI for sure. We align with the KPIs that are generally used in business. So we look at things like frequency of buy rate, frequency of spend, and um, how frequently people come back to the website. So what we're trying to do is um, take retail data. Um, well, we're focusing mostly on retail right now because there's so much data available there, um, and examine how people's behavior uh, changes from the time that they joined a community. And so we can see things like um, how frequently they uh, purchase after joining community compared to before community or um, if they purchase more. Um, so you look at Sephora and they've got a great story of people coming in, joining the community and now they, you know, repeat more frequently and they spend more. I, I really do think that the Digital Analytics Association needs somebody whose uh, job it is full-time thinking about social media, not somebody who's doing it uh, part-time or it's 20% of their job. Um, like we were saying earlier, there's more and more data you know, floating around now and more and more decisions are being made on you know, uh, edge cases or small pieces of data. And I think um, the membership of the DAA has been, has been crying out for really some guidance and, and a lexicon of how to use this data and how to integrate it in with everything that they're doing in retail or with uh, managing the customer experience because it's customer experience now you know, goes across three screens and, um, and social and local there's so much data there and people, vendors, um, CMOs, web analysts are all crying out for help and trying to figure out how to organize this data. So that would really be, if I was uh, lucky enough to get this, uh, this position, my focus would be in creating the frameworks and an understanding of what it is that you can do with social data and what you shouldn't do with it. We shouldn't make quick, rash decisions based upon um, a, a small slice of data. Um, I think we can make directional decisions right now, and you want to make sure that you have um, a methodology that's using, you know, the same data points uh, and integrating it with all of your metrics. So, not making decisions based upon one piece of data you get from a tool, or not making um, business decisions on how to change a advertising campaign based on what your audience is doing on Facebook, mm -hmm. what your audience is doing on YouTube, but really finding the tie that binds across all of those and, and integrating that into 
um, you know, a, a holistic framework. Yeah, I would say a, a, a process for really distilling the core um, business principles related to any type of uh, marketing activity, whether it's optimization or acquisition or engagement or advocate building or influencer analysis, you can break all of these down, you know, into kind of some core principles to um, to help guide your decision making and um, start building those principles on a on a social framework where you're looking to uh, really uh, deploy the scientific method. I mean, come up with the hypothesis, get the hypothesis out there, test it, and get it validated by the community. Incorporate that into an ongoing process, and that's really putting social media to work for you as opposed to, um, you know, just buying a tool and throwing a lot of money at a tool. You need to have a process and people on top of a tool that can make it work. I run a working chili pepper farm with uh, my family and we grow 21 varieties of peppers so shameless plug go to darnhoppeppers.com and you can get all your chili fix uh, for you right now. The other thing they should know is that um, I've been a rugby player and a coach for the last 20 years and I'm super proud of my team the Seattle Quake go Quake. <laughs> so you could also uh, go to quakerugby.org and maybe buy a t-shirt or something.